Have we got everything? Yeah, I think so. So we are again doing a fantastic collaboration with uh, some other van life, caravan and motorhome channels uh, that you'll see whizzing past on the screen right now. Um, the, the, uh, the topic for this month is five things to remember before you set off. So we've had a bit of a think about this. Yep. And as funny as the little intro was, uh, so far we've managed to never uh, actually forget a child. So um, that, it's been close. That was uh, that was just a, a joke this time. Um, so oh, oh, can I do it? Yeah, go on. Number one. Number one. Go on. Okay. Number, uh, one? number one. Number one is rattles. So um, before we set off, we need to de-rattle the place. Uh, so how we do this is we get the pans in the oven and we wrap them in tea towels. Uh, we use the drying rack to hold the uh, top of the hob down and the oven door. Mm -hmm. um, we've also got little sheets of felt that go in between each of the plates. Um, and that generally does us, doesn't it? Is there anything else we do from de-rattling? Um, not that I can think of. But it um, makes a huge difference when we forget because it's just so noisy. Yeah, it's uh, it, it is actually, and the um, one thing that I noticed that really rattles. Um, I drove the van uh, a few weeks ago, uh, empty to get a, a service uh, done, and we had some hangers in the cupboard, Ooh. and the hangers were rattling around. But obviously, normally the the, the wardrobe is full of clothes, to, oh, which a which symphony deadens orchestra it. orchestra on its own. Yeah, it was only it was, it was only a half hour drive, so it wasn't a big deal. But um, yeah. Rattles are a big thing. If you can conquer those, then uh, you know you're you're halfway to winning. Right? Can I do the next one? Uh, no, I'm doing this one. Oh. Number two. Oh, you show up. <laughs> okay, so number two. Aha! Come yeah. to the story. Uh, so number two is um, uh, something. Um, it probably highlights stuff that you should take, even though you think you're not going to use them. Um, but most importantly, in this particular situation, it's our hookup cable. So we were going to a um, uh, one of these kind of meetup events, and we were supposed to be camping off grid. And so I didn't bother packing the uh, electric hookup cable because wasn't going to need it. And I don't like taking things with us that we're not going to need. Um, but when we got there, we got some crazy uh, outputs. Um, from the sergeant on the batteries they were showing that they were half full which kind of surprised me because the van had been on hookup at home um, and had been charging but um, it was an unhappy van I ignored it <laughs> um, <laughs> and we went off round uh, and we had our you know food and we were probably there for an hour or two um, we came back to the van and then the van now said that um, both of the batteries the uh, engine battery and the leisure battery were completely flat um, and I was like well we're we're stuffed we're not moving you, if we can't start we won't be able to start the engine so I went to try to start the engine and uh, the engine was fine started up fine but I really didn't want to turn it off <laughs> so quickly found a, um, a campsite that had electric electric hookup booked in there and I went back into this show uh, and ran round the show trying to find an electric hookup cable that we could take with us. But it made a mess of the weekend. We just spent most of the time driving the whole weekend. It was just like, ah. Uh. Yeah, we did because in my rush, I had found a campsite that was like a two hours in the other uh, direction. Yeah, it was further away from home. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, so we'd already yeah, we ended up doing like a five-hour journey on the way back ridiculous. the next day. Um, so yeah, always have an electric hookup cable. Yep. Um, and actually quite often I carry two now uh, I have a long 25 metre one and then I have a short 10 metre one you show off uh, yes <laughs> uh, we've got so many power cables because we've got one at home as well and yeah so we've got loads but yes I would always recommend taking it even if you think you don't need it number three number three what's number three? Oh ah. uh, yeah it's, yeah we don't drink out of the tanks yes um, so always take drinking water 
So we normally take a few bottles of drinking water. It's important to stay hydrated. Yeah. Um, so even if um, even if I think we don't necessarily need it because we're not going on a long journey, um, I'll always make sure we've got kind of two or three bottles of, of drinking water, usually in the fridge, just keeping cool because um, you never know. Um, and actually, um, when we got stuck on the... Um, Remy's really <laughs> grumpy. Remy just, I don't know if you picked that up, but Remy just had a bit of a sigh. Um, we uh, we had a, a trip to France where we got delayed um, by many hours uh, mm. on the Eurostar, uh, sorry, the Euro Tunnel. Uh, yeah, it's not Eurostar. No. <laughs> Completely different. Uh, on the Euro Tunnel, and uh, yeah, that was good to be uh, to have water then because um, fundamentally, they won't let you um, they won't let you use uh, they won't let you go back to the shops to to get stuff, um, and all these cars are kind of waiting around, not able to do anything. And fortunately, we had sustenance and water, so yeah, Huzzah. always have drinking water. Number four, uh, number four is um it's kind of a double one really because it's like okay well you need food <laughs> um but it's it's more than just remembering to take the food with you that's always useful mm -hmm. um but it's also we always make sure we have a backup meal um i haven't got the can with me oh i meant to bring the can with me that's all right uh i always have a pick up a cassoulet in france which is basically like a bean meat stew in a can and it's actually it's really yummy and it's it's a treat and it's like really kind of rich and delicious and having that in the cupboard is just really useful for if everything goes peat tong you just know that you've got some food and it having a hungry little boy as we do <laughs> we need I mean, to make, hello, he, he gets so anxious if he doesn't know where his next meal is coming from uh, so at least we can say to him don't worry don't worry i've got the can it's all good yeah so sometimes you might go um with the intention of parking up near a city or a town where you think you can go and have a restaurant um and that park up isn't isn't going to be suitable to stay the night but, but what if there's an apocalypse and there's no power like what happened to us on the way to france and there was no food in the pub that's a perfect scenario that's a perfect perfect, perfect scenario. situation where you might need an emergency meal so even if it's a pot noodle, although I don't like that. Ugh. No, you're right, thanks. <laughs> um, but actually, ca cassoulets are, are really good. You just um, put them in a, a pan, heat them up, serve them with Super a yummy. bit of bread, and uh, and you're, you're home and dry. Oh, I get to Go do on, number then. five. Number five is... Uh, oh, yeah, it was controversial because Paul was grumpy because he put it in his intro video. But I think it is too super important not to leave, which is cupboard doors. So the number of times we've driven along and it's normally me, has forgotten to, to really check the doors are shut and they fling open and then somebody needs to do the dart of terror which is unbuckle, really mustn't unbuckle seat out and run and try and shut the cupboards. Um, and before now I've actually, I've got these lovely little elephant picky bit dishes and the cupboard door flung open and I lost an elephant. It broke on the floor and I was heartbroken. So now I want to say that we do do it. <laughs> no, it's still something that we forget, which actually is why we're going to put it in number five and maybe you might remember now. Who knows? Um, Strange things have happened. But the cupboard door underneath the sink kind of sits reasonably flush um, naturally without it being kind of pinned closed. Um, so it's very easy to miss. Um, and uh, and yeah. also it's natural. Like the kids say you want a snack, you go into the cupboard, get them something and then you forget to shut it properly. It's me, it's my fault. I do it. So those are our five things to remember before you set off. Um, and fill the snack drawer. <laughs> yes. Always make sure the glove compartment has the sweets. That's very true. That is very true. So those are our five things. Please make sure you check out the other channels uh, and this collaboration because I'm, I'm really keen. I haven't seen them yet. I'm really keen to see what they've, uh, what they've said and the five things that they, uh, they are going to recommend. So... Make sure you check out those uh, next and uh, please make sure you like and subscribe. Um, we're currently sitting in the van at home um, and using some natural, the last of the natural light on the, uh, on the day that we're filming this. We have no electrics in the van because I'm doing a big upgrade. So if you subscribe, um, you'll get notified when that video hopefully comes out soon. Once I fix the van again. Let's just hope there's no drama llamas. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm sure there will be. Mm. Anyway. Um, We'll see you soon.